we're delighted to announce that the, this year and following the success of Glasgow 2014, particularly that, that Alan uh, referred to, uh, that we're going to induct two new athletes into the Hall of Fame in 2014. Uh, and one of those uh, is our guest speaker today. Uh, we're delighted that, that Libby's with us. Uh, it's going to be Libby Clegg. I think a good coach needs a few different qualities, one of which is good communication. I think that's really important, the communication between the athlete and the coach and vice versa is, is solid and works well and is functional. I also think you know coaches take up a lot of time commitment, which also is really important because without the commitment of the time, I think an athlete is, would struggle to progress. Understanding your athlete is vital. Uh, you can have all the technical, tactical knowledge in the world if you're unable to apply that into, in a way that your athlete understands and buys into and engages with, um, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, these kind of events are important for coaches because the coaches are the guys who are at the coalface, these are the guys who are working with the athletes and yeah, it's hard to uh, understate the uh, significance of the coach role uh, in preparation and um, in helping athletes out and uh, helping athletes get composed and uh, consistently producing uh, top level performances. Coach role is hugely significant. So this type of event is great. Yeah, I think days like today are absolutely vital towards the bigger picture. I think ensuring that everybody in the room knows that everyone has an equal part to play in producing our, our talent for the future. Um, and I specifically come from a talent point of view, but even just ensuring that everybody who wants to play sport can play sport and has a meaningful and positive experience in doing that. We're seeing participant numbers rising and rising. There's more opportunities for people to do different sports. Um, and I think you just want that to continue in the future. I think the last three or four years has been, has been remarkable in what's, what's been achieved. And it's, it's building on that and making sure there's a, the word legacy, I, I kind of use reluctantly, but the, the, you hope there'll be a legacy from the big events like Olympics and Paralympics and, and Commonwealth Games. I think it's important that SDS um, you know, spreads the, the information about these kind of practices um, to the coaches that are coming through the system um, because these are the guys that that are in contact with the next run of athletes, the next generation of athletes. And you know, for us as, as, as sports, as disability sport, to actually start to see you know, much stronger coaches coming through, as well as the athletes coming through, that'll have a much more positive impact on, on us in the future. Coaching, from our point of view, is hugely, hugely important. We're a, we're a multi-sport organisation, so we rely very, very heavily on the, the coaches from the sports themselves, from the mainstream governing bodies, and to support those coaches to, to help our athletes to make the transition from participation uh, through talent and into performance. So, you know, without coaches on the ground giving up their time and, and working on a voluntary basis, uh, you, you know, our athletes just simply wouldn't be able to make uh, that progression up the pathway. So, uh, you know, without them, uh, we, we, sim we simply wouldn't exist and the athletes wouldn't progress. The one thing that I've learned that I'd like to share with coaches over the past few years is that no matter how you know, grumpy and ungrateful occasionally that you may think the athletes being that they don't appreciate your time and commitment. We really do, and sometimes we just struggle to, to show it. So even when you're feeling underappreciated, I think, you know, the athlete does actually genuinely appreciate what you're doing, just sometimes they don't express it properly. Thank you.